guys how are you guys doing today so i feel different i don't feel like myself but it's not negative it's actually positive which is just crazy like a whole new shift happened you know what i mean it's just insane um so anyways i had my my uh birthday on saturday and i hung out with my cousins i had such a good time but I slept all day Sunday, so I had to take today to spend time with God. And um, like, cause I, I didn't spend time on Sunday cause I was sleeping all day. So I took today to spend time with God. And um, you know, this evening we had such a long, not this evening, sorry, this afternoon, we had such a long talk and he brought up a whole bunch of different things. You know what I mean? A whole bunch of different things that we're talking about, um, you know, and um I don't know, I have this big smile on my face because, you know, God is just doing amazing things. But I want to say this. One of the messages, because he gave me a bunch of messages for you guys too. One of the messages he mentioned, which was very, um, I wasn't sure if it was my message or if it was your message. But I, I put everything together as in like everything he gave me, I connected the dots to what he was trying to say. And um, he said something about, they said you're lying. And then he said grandma, grandmother. They said you're lying, grandmother. So... I was just like, oh my gosh, God, is this my message or is this someone else's message? And I wasn't sure because right after I got this message, I started getting other messages. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to put it out anyways, regardless if I know if it's mine or not. Because even if it's my message, I'm very transparent with you guys anyways about certain things. So, I mean, we're all going through like similar things. You get what I'm saying? And even when it is someone else's message, we all learn from it, you know? So um if this is my message i'm not sure if this is your message but he said that somebody said that we're lying about like or i'm lying or you're lying about what we're going through about the warfare and stuff right when he said that to me i was kind of sad because i'm like wow god like what's going on then when he mentioned grandmother he mentioned i don't know if it's the grandmother that's saying that you know saying you're lying or if it's like someone talking to your grandmother and saying that you're lying right and then he mentioned something very significant to me. He mentioned the number 580, okay? And I thought he was saying 580. That's what I thought he was saying. And then when I said, is it 580? I didn't hear anything at that time. And then later on, I heard 1,000. I'm like, okay, it's 5,880. You get what I'm saying? So when I when I heard that, I instantly knew right away, okay, this is, this is God is talking about someone you know saying that somebody is lying like somebody's going through something and somebody may have spoken up about it and said hey i'm going through this, this is what i'm battling with and the grandmother is saying that that you're lying or the person that's going to your grandmother is saying that you're lying okay and i honestly feel like it has to do with warfare and it has to do with testimonies i feel like it has to do with the testimonies and like i said i wasn't sure if it was my message or your message because i relate with this too you get what i'm saying um so I wasn't 100% sure, but somebody's definitely saying that, you know, someone's lying about what they've been through and all that, which is very, sorry, my son just came, he had to get something. So, um, which is very um, annoying because when he told me that, I was like, God, I'm actually really annoyed by this. So anyways, I fell asleep and as I fell asleep, um, I started hearing something playing very, very loudly. First, I saw a vision of Bob Marley, okay? bob marley and then when i saw the vision of bob marley i started hearing every little thing is gonna be all right and then when i opened my eyes i saw that little flash that little light on my ceiling it flashed and went away and i'm like oh my holy spirit you're so funny so yeah people have to stop limiting god because i'm telling you god knows how to get our attention but right away when i heard that i'm like i know he's talking about the message he gave me about the they said you're lying message because i feel like when someone says that you're lying about your testimony or what you've been through, it's very annoying and it can it can definitely hurt you. You get what I'm saying? Especially when in this, in the situation, you're the one that's been messed with. You know, you're the one that's been messed with. You're the one that's been abused, attacked. And here you are trying to speak up. Here you are trying to share your story, your testimony. You know, like I said, I can relate to this too. I don't know who it's for, but I can relate to it too. It's like here you are trying to explain yourself and share testimony to help people or to just let people know what you're going through. And then you have people saying that you're lying because they want to discredit your testimony because they don't want to believe that you actually went through that. Or they may also be involved. Most of the times when someone is saying that you're lying about something, most of the times it's because they're involved and they're looking 
they can low-key be exposed by you just speaking up you get what i'm saying but when the lord came in and said that showed me the vision of that and then the song started playing i knew right away that god was saying don't worry because when i woke up and i saw the light i was like what you know so he this is for i think this is for a bunch of us so anyone that says that you're lying about your testimony or that discredits your testimony who cares what they say who cares what they say at the end of the day this is your story this is your testimony that is this listen this is your experience okay that's something that no one can take from you is your experience in life the, the, the things that you've endured while walking in your shoes no one can take that from you because those experiences that you've been through that gives you wisdom that makes you smarter that makes you stronger do you get what i'm saying and that's something that no one can take from you at the end of the day so if you're going through something like this let's just say this is your situation you're going through something like this and someone is saying you're lying about something that you, that you went through ignore them who cares you get what i'm saying like i feel like god just wanted it to wanted to make us aware um it is someone something relating to someone's grandma something relating to someone's grandma okay um but god and, and like i said the number 580 is big but he said thousand after so i don't know if that's the price of something or someone paid someone money to do something to you or me or whatever but i know that god is saying regardless he just what likes to let us know what's going on to be aware and let them think what they want to think let them say what they want to say like i said it's your testimony it's your story and it's making you stronger it's only going to make you stronger and listen god knows the truth god sees what you go through god sees what they're doing behind closed doors god sees how people treat you god can see people's motives towards you and how they feel towards you so that's something no one can ever take away from you okay i love you guys i'll talk to you soon bye